Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Christine from London Gifties. Um, so over the past couple of days, um, I have been sourcing a couple of books for the junk bundles and other projects. So I thought to show you my uh, secondhand vintage antique book haul, book haul. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, let's let's just uh, jump right in. So one of the first ones is um, this nice old book about um it's an album of railway carriages so it was just pictures of different railway carriages uh throughout the history i think of british uh railways oh we're on that one um yeah um i really like traveling with train something very nice about it nice and slow and you have the time um to watch things pass by and read a good book so, this is the first one. Let's move on to the next one, which is USA in Color by the Editions of Holiday. I think it's one of those books where you have the pictures who have been taken in black and white, but after that, color did. I'm just guessing because some of them look very um, oddly colored, but I might be just wrong. But, however, the pictures and the imagery is absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to use quite a lot of these pages, um, especially the winter ones, for my journals for the upcoming winter. Because it's simply gorgeous. Pictures are amazing. And I think the flora and fauna of America is beautiful. Never been, but pictures from what I see from you guys on Instagram and other places. It's just simply, simply beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is Looking at People. Um, it's a rather weird book that I found. And looking at the font, I think it's made for children. Because the font is humongous. <laughs> and some of the illustrations are kind of like, I don't know, for children? I don't know, it's a very interesting book anyhow, and I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I think it's for children. It's very curious. I think it's for children. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Very interesting book. Um, on to the next one, which is one of my favorite topics, which is mushrooms and toadstools. Um, yeah, I'm, an, I'm a mushroom fan over here. And this one is uh, with pictures. I just love how big the pictures are. Is that devil's fingers? I don't think so. Um, very nice, colorful. Pictures of chanterelles. Love chanterelles. Okay. I'm going quite quickly because obviously I'm not sure how interested you are. And also I have quite a couple of books to go through. So hopefully that's okay. Um, so this is The Rose Expert. <laughs> I found this series of books and there was like different experts of different things. And this is about different types of roses. About their care. About the different illnesses that they might have. About the, the different like varieties of roses you have and I think it's it's beautiful um, it's not a lot of illustrations but it's a lot of color uh, well, I'm thinking maybe I can cut these out and make some sort of like a collage with them not too sure but this this is a very beautiful one and from the same series of books I have the houseplant expert which I am not if you know anything about me I um, I neglect a lot of houseplants or water them too much and they just end up giving up on me um, and other ways of saying dying so I'm not a houseplant expert maybe I should actually read this book instead of uh, use it for, 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 for bits and pieces but yeah gorgeous illustrations and pictures both I'm very happy with this this one and the next one is something that I thought is a massive score. Um, the people, I think, in the charity shop were looking at me quite oddly because it's the, the driver's atlas of the British Isles from, was it the 80s? Yes, 1988. 
Um, however, look at these maps. They're absolutely mouth-watering. I do say so myself. Um, so you can expand them and have the different details on the sides. An absolute um, pleasure for me to be finding this. Nice, and the paper is nice as well because some of the atlases which come out later have these like glossy sheets, but this is very matte and I very much like that. Okay, on to the next one, which is Observing the Countryside and Seashore by Leslie Jackman, illustrated by Jane Netley. Um, it's my receipt. Ooh, again, beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Especially from the birds. I, I love garden birds and other birds, of course, as well. I'm not bird um, racist, so. Oh, goals. Beautiful. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, anyways. I like it. I like it a lot. Next one is the complete book of British birds. Um, it's quite heavy, quite a big one. But again, right up my alley the topic is, so I'm happy to. Um, let's have a quick flip through. It's just beautiful. Just absolutely filled with beautiful illustrations. Ah, oh, wood pigeon. We, we have a lot of these guests in, in our backyard. Um, and as a member of uh, RSBB. We, we have the RSPB book as well, but obviously this one is nice. And I can cut this up and use it for my projects. Yeah, I mean, beautiful book. And last of the big ones is quite quite a big one. It's um, The Natural History of the British Isles by consultant editor Pat Morris. Again, we have both. Oh, it feels almost the whole uh, screen. We have both illustrations and pictures. And... Oh, wow, amazing. Yeah. I'm very happy to find this. I can I can put it to different uses. The pictures that separately from, from the illustrations and just... Oh, look at that mossy. Mossy woods feel. Wooden area. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I could just imagine using these, especially if you know now when autumn and winter is coming. I'll be cutting these right up. Um, let's move on to the next stack, uh, which is a bit of a smaller box. Um, I got these dictionaries, which is the Spanish English and English Spanish. So it's really, really lovely. I can use the separate words. I can just use the whole page. The possibilities are endless. And from the other side, there's nothing from the other side. I thought maybe then it divides in the middle. Because, yeah, there we go. So this is Spanish-English and English-Spanish. It's so nice and so small. My hands are quite big, so it looks even smaller. Okay, so we got the French, uh, English-French and French-English. Um, also very nice. Lovely pages. Nice and old paper. Which is obviously my preferred paper. And this is quite cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually cut this up or, or I mean, divide this up. into the pocketbook of quotations. And it's just different quotations on, like, different topics. So if you go to a topic like Destiny, um, there's, a, there's a quote about it. It's really, really cool. So it quotes about Isaac Newton. Quotes by Isaac Newton, sorry. That would be a bit weird. Yeah, so it's really cool because obviously, I don't know, I just find this really amazing because you really look them up online and stuff like that. But this one is nice, handy, and you could just cut it out if you really want to. You don't have to rewrite it. Um, and this is the the Love and the Spy. I'm trying to find the author. There we go. This guy. Um, yeah, it's very nice. A very interesting weight to the paper. 
and it's also like very like kind of narrow printed which i like because usually old books are more like cent centered and it's more like sleek look whereas this one has a look of like a filled notebook if that makes sense i really like that and it's a beautiful uh, debossing on the front i'm definitely going to use this one for making a journal inside these covers after it's been like all used up and torn now and next one is the English Parnassus. This thing, I don't know, probably read it wrong. Anthology, chiefly of longer poems. So yeah, these are just poems. Um, again, the, the, the weight of the paper is nice and it's very thin. It's aged beautifully. If anything, it just sounds nice when you flip through it. And this one is something I was actually looking up on Amazon and I found it in the store. I mean, in the antique shop and I was very happy because I think I'm going to keep it as is. I'm not going to tear it up because this is a handy guide of uh, mushrooms and toadstools in Britain and Europe. And you know, I love me some mushrooms. Beautiful. More chanterelles. Gorgeous. Yep, that one's, I guess, for me. And this is one of the ones that I thought is a, is a beautiful find, which is the Guide to Mammals of Britain and Europe. And it has beautiful, not only beautiful illustrations, but nice and really thick, super matte pages. Oh my gosh. Um, it's beautiful illustrations of, of animals. Really, really pretty. Oh, wow. I'm just ooing and aahing in this video, so if you're into that kind of stuff, um, yeah, let <laughs> me know. And I got a couple more, which are just the ones that I found, and because they're so beautiful, I think I'm going to just resell them as a whole book rather than tearing them up because it's too gorgeous. And one of them is this which is a, um, how would you call this? Just music, really, music book. Um, I think it's quite, quite rather, rather quite old. If I'm not wrong, is this is from the 40s or something? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's 1912. There we go. That's a fail for me. 1912. Um, it's beautiful, and it belonged to somebody in Dudley who had a beautiful either... Looks like a stamp, not handwriting, but it's kind of handwriting stamp. Yeah, I mean, people th those days know what they're doing. Again, this is quite tattered, but I think that's the... It's actually just fallen off. Yeah, I mean, it's an old book from more than 100 years ago, so I was not expecting a perfect thing. The next thing that I've got is these beautiful ordnance surveys from UK. I've got the Chesterfield and Sheffield. Lincoln, Dorking and Kingston one, and I don't know, I can't, I can't tear it up, because it's so beautiful, let me just have a look inside this one, Yeah, I mean, the craftsmanship of this is beautiful. Um, got three, these three little um, bad boys. Don't know the year, but I think it's the 60s, maybe. That's just a guess. And the next one is Teach Yourself Books uh, Painting for Pleasure. Which I think is very thematically <laughs> appropriate. If somebody wants to learn, I think this is a really cool... I don't know. Uh, source uh, resource is from the fifties, so fifty three, fifty five. Um, yeah, it's nice. That's actually beautiful. Oops, lady. Yeah, lovely books. Book. Mm -mm. Let me 
the same way again. Yeah, so I'll teach you so painting book. And <laughs> next one was uh, a Collins Guide to Letter Writing, which I thought is also quite amusing. But, you know, if you want to learn, it's never too late to learn. It's from the 1966-1967 reprinted edition, 1967. Quite a good advice. Four more private letters, maybe not, but like if you want to get some cool ideas for your pen friends, or has have an amazing gift, because I mean, look at the aged paper, scrumptious. I think it's really cool. Oh, win a job. So if you want to win a job in the um, 60s, you know, good advice in this one. And last one is, um, it's not as much vintage as just a beautiful example, um, specimen that I found, which is The Wildflowers, A Book of Days by the Royal Horticultural Society. I never know how to pronounce that right, so sorry, the society. So again, this is not that old, it's from 1999. It's basically... A diary, so a book of days, and it has nice glossy paper. On one side, it has seven days, starting from January until obviously December, and it has beautiful illustrations on the other side for most of the weeks. Again, if you would like this as your journal for next year, or just a nice and thoughtful gift, I think for someone who is mm, so inclined to enjoy flora as much as rest of us do it's gorgeous and that's the last book so this was my book haul um, from the other weekend I try to try to shop my shop my pain away source book source my pain away yeah that's all that fits in in the thing so yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know if you'd like to see more of how I source the products that I sell or how I source the things that I use in my products that I sell or anything like that, like more like, you know, a chatty process, I guess, video or just talking about what I do and such. Um, okay, Cookie, we get you. Obviously title shot of Cookie. Um, and yeah, if you want to hear more of this stuff and um, see more of such videos, let me know. If you don't, politely let me know too. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, all books are quality controlled by Cookie, as per usual. <laughs> okay, guys, see ya. Bye bye.